Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you how to make all the fonts bigger in Windows 11. This also applies to Windows 10 and maybe before but we will be showing you in Windows 11 here and there's a couple ways of doing this. The first one is because the screen resolution is so high in today's monitors and graphics cards a lot of times we have to zoom in and then we can make things a little bit bigger so we can see them properly. So one of the things you can do, if you right click on your desktop, uh, make sure you're not right clicking on an actual file, then you can go into the display settings. If you have more than one screen, you're going to have to do this for both. And if you're not sure which one is which, you can hit identify and it'll tell you in the bottom corner which one is which. So then if you scroll down a bit, you're going to see the scale size and display resolution. So right now mine's set at 100% and it's at this resolution here, which is recommended. Currently this is the highest resolution for this monitor and graphics card. And the scale is at 100%. So maybe it's a bit small. What we want to do is crank this up. Let's say 150%. You can see that everything now became a lot bigger now. And if we look at our email now, we can see that this is also bigger. What I've seen in some cases as well is that for some reason, the subject text doesn't grow at the same size and zoom level as the body of the text here. So what you can see is, um, the text here, I got some text for the body of the email and here's some text in the subject. Right now they zoomed in at the same size, so they look fine. Even right clicking down here, we can see the quick menu, how big that is, that's zoomed in. And if we were to right click in here, you can see actually this is a little bit smaller. It hasn't grown in size. Although the text has grown, what we've seen in some cases is the text just even typing it in is small, but when you right click, this is even worse. If you want to copy and paste, it becomes so small you can't read it. Whereas if you were to uh, do it over here, you can see it's much bigger, the text. So how can we address this issue? First of all, we can put this back to 100%. What you'll want to do is when you're in the settings here, you can go to accessibility and on the top right, the first option here is text size. So we can click on that and you'll see here there's a slider bar and it's currently at 100% and you can drag this along as you hold down the button, you can see the uh, preview at the top of what it's going to look like and what percentage it's going to be by the time we let go of this. So we'll go up to 150% where we were and we'll hit apply. After a few brief moments it should make the changes and you can have a look at any application now you should notice is a lot bigger. So if we were to look at this email program as an example we can see our text here is still uh, at the size as what it was. If we right click in the body of the email, it's still at large like it was at 150% for the other one. And we'll click in here, we can right click and we can see now that this is also increased in size. So it's larger here for the contacts menu or pop-up menu here when we right click just the same as if we were to right click in the body of the email. So it's now done it for everything. So it's not just the text. This of course is showing the text size that's in the email. So you can change that by just highlighting it and changing this as well. But the places where you can't change it and it's built into the system, like your email address, where it's going from and to in the subject field, all the buttons here, the other buttons and menu options you can't change those things there is no option for them all you can do is zoom in and if it doesn't work with the screen resolution change then going into the accessibility options and changing the text size here seems to do the trick 
So hopefully between these two options here, you're gonna be able to find that everything will zoom in properly for you and you can read everything clearly with the high resolution as well as clearly because it's large enough to actually see it. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.